At what point in your life did you first feel comfortable being open about your sexuality? Yeah, when I was a, a, a grown up, I mean, I was, um, I think I was probably 26, 27 years old. And, and I think as, a, as an adult, um, you know, as a grown up, as a coach, to be able to reflect back on some of the things that may have happened when I was a player that I wasn't aware of, that I'm aware of now, it just, it, um, it hits me in ways that I hope our players get hit by soon so that they can continue to live their lives in ways that, that are a good example for others, that give others confidence and that, that save a life. What's making you emotional? Because we're just, like for me, I'm just Steph. <laughs> you know, I'm just, I'm just a person that, that lives my life um, and tries to be a good human being, that tries to, to do the right thing. Um, and, and in being that, that I, could, that, that I could impact someone who I don't even know, I think it just, it, it brings a level of, um, of humility, you know, to, to, to me. Um, I think it brings a level of, um, of, of compassion and empathy for those who don't have the village that I had. Who are the people in your village? Oh, well, my, um, my family certainly, you know. My family certainly, um, everything from, from my parents, my grandparents, my, my aunts and uncles, my cousins, my sisters, my partner, Lisa, my kids, um, you know, they, they are there. How many kids? Three? I have three of my own, fourth, a blended family. I have a blended family, so four boys, 11, 10, and nine-year-old twins. Wow. Yeah. Do all your children play basketball? They all play. Um, in fact, I call our littles, uh, the nine and 10-year-olds, um, I, I call them the littles. I coach them in YMCA basketball. Um, so uh, they, they do, they all play. Um, you know, my favorite story to tell is my oldest, um, when he was born, he was just always around our team when I was coaching the Indiana Fever. And he was about three years old when I took him to his first Indiana Pacers game. And he just looked at me and he said, Mommy, boys play basketball too? <laughs> because he had just been around so many women all the time and, um, and families look um, differently uh, all over the place. Uh, and and, and what, what does that mean? And you know, to, to love one another, to have each other's back, uh, to, to, to put each other first, um, to over communicate, uh, to, to problem solve, to have difficult conversations, right? All of those things that, that we learn um, as we grow older, I think for us as a family and as a blended family um, and a, a two, two house, household family is to model that for our children. Um, so we can't just talk about it, we have to be about it. And I, and I think that um, you know, we've evolved into doing, doing a, a pretty decent job at that.